Hey guys, here's how I painted some countertops for my laundry room. This is what it turned out finished. And here are the products that I used. I used a black flat paint, a silver and a white craft paint from Folk Art, and a fast drying polyurethane. That's all I used. And I, well, and I used a roller and a uh, plastic bag. This is my countertop. It's particle board cut to the size I needed with a 1x2 nailed on the front and then I caulked it that front seam and let that front seam dry. Next, I just painted it black. I put a good um, coat down on the whole thing. Make sure you don't forget that front board too. I let that dry and then I did a second coat of the black just to make sure it was coated really well and let it dry. Next, I took my white paint. You'll put it out on a piece of cardboard, a paper plate, whatever you want, it doesn't matter. You'll just squirt a little bit of your paint out onto your uh, board. And I used a Walmart plastic bag. You could use any kind of plastic bag or you could use a sponge or whatever. This is just how I choose to do this and I, I enjoy it, it's easy. I then take my bag and I wad it up. You're going to take the board with your paint and just pull a little bit of that paint out of that dollop. You don't want to stick your, your bag right into that big thing of paint. Pull some paint over to the side and make it thin and then you'll just start dabbing it onto the countertop. Whatever pattern you come up with, I mean, it's whatever look you're looking for will work. I would suggest you not stopping. I would continue on with this because when you stop and come back, you kind of have a different technique when you come back. So once you start, keep going. Next, you'll take your silver paint. I turned my bag wrong side out using that same bag. I got my silver paint. I put it on a board. And the same thing, you'll just take your bag and you'll daub it into the paint and pull back on the board to kind of thin it back off of your bag. And then just start daubing your paint on there in whatever pattern you want. Making sure not to forget that front board um, along that front edge, making sure that it looks like the, the countertop does. It's the same thickness of paint. And you'll notice I have black back out. I got it a little heavy in a couple of places and I didn't like it. So I just came back with my black and, and uh, touched it with some black and helped take that, the thick white spots away. No big deal. Don't stress. You can always fix this with, a, with one of the different colors of paint. Now here's the way I do this. You may choose to do this differently. I just pour my sealer on there. I take my foam roller and I just spread it out and I make sure I don't press into it very hard at all. I leave it really thick. Um, I put a really thick coat of the sealer on there and this is the key to it holding that really well is however many coats of the sealer that you want to put on it. And uh, I put about three really heavy coats on there so it would probably equal maybe around six coats. But um, you let it dry between each coat. You can sand it if you want to. I don't. I just put um, like three to six coats on there and that's what it looks like finished guys i love it it's very inexpensive it's very easy and i really like the look of it it holds up well and this being in the utility room laundry room whatever you'll call it um it'll hold up for as, until i get tired of it and, and redo it it'll hold up i hope you can use this technique somewhere in your house guys As always, thanks for watching.